chefs welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful panko fried shrimp to learn the recipe keep watching all right so i forgot to put this ingredient in the next slide so which is like super important you're going to need a flour mixture and of course you are going to need flour now i just put flour in a bowl i don't measure it because whatever I don't use, I'll just throw out. But if you want to be like precise, I would say put two cups of flour in a bowl. All right, so these are the ingredients that I use for my flour mixture. Um, just a heads up, you're going to need three bowls for this process. You're going to need a flour mixture, you're going to need a bowl for eggs, and you're going to need a bowl for your panko. Now, when I'm, whenever I fry something and I'm using flour, I have to season the flour because it just has to be seasoned. You can't use plain flour because then it'll just be bland. So in my um, shrimp flour mixture, I'm putting in garlic powder. I'm putting in um, Chef Meta's all-purpose seasoning. So a little bit about this seasoning. Um, Chef Meta, that's my boy from college. We go way back. That's the bro right there. He has his own seasoning and he also has seafood boil sauces. I'm going to link his website in my description down below so you can go check out his website. But when I tell you that this seasoning is everything, like I put it in everything. It's literally all purpose and it worked so good for this recipe. So go check my boy out and tell him Chef Kelly Michelle sent you. All right, next ingredient is the black pepper, and I did add some paprika. Now, all of this is to taste. If you want to be precise, I would add one tablespoon of each ingredient into the flour mixture. And then I'm going to show you how I put that together. All right, so for our panko mixture, you're gonna need panko. Um, I have the plain one, but I highly suggest you get the seasoned one. That's even better. But for today, I just have the plain panko, and this is the Japanese style breadcrumbs. I added onion powder to my mixture, Italian seasoning to my mixture, and some parsley flakes. And then I just mixed it up, and I'm gonna show you how I did that. the star of the show our shrimp i'm using extra large shrimp and i did buy these frozen um i did devein them from the top and the bottom but that's up to you if you want to and i have a two pound bag here all right so here i'm showing you how i made my process work here i am dipping the shrimp into the flour and then i'm going to give it a bath in the egg and dump it in there and give it a few turns. Make sure the shrimp is fully coated with that panko. And that is what your shrimp should look like. I'm gonna repeat the process 
and we will be right back. All right, this is what your shrimp should look like after you're finished. It should already look crunchy. <laughs> and let's get to frying. So here I have oil that I used already. This is recycled oil. And it is on a six. I let it heat up for about 20 minutes. And this is what it should look like when you're adding the shrimp in. I add about five, six shrimp at a time. And I let these cook until they're golden brown. And I would give that an estimated time about 10 minutes. Just keep an eye on them just so that they don't burn. Here's a tip that Chef Mata put me on to, and that is when your food has come out of the fryer, hit it with a little bit of all-purpose seasoning for that extra kick of flavor. And let me tell you, it is amazing. So I went ahead and made some rice and beans. I have both of those recipes on my YouTube channel. Go check it out. And this is what the shrimp look like. Seasoned, crispy, and just amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this recipe, please follow my page at Cooking with Kelly Michelle on Instagram. Make sure to like my video, and if you use my recipe, please tag me in all of your photos and videos. Thanks so much for watching.